Welcome back everyone. Well, summer is in full swing and kids are turning in their school books now for sneakers and swimsuits. Camps are kicking off all around the area. So how can you prepare your child for the best summer possible? Joining us live is the owner of Liberty Lake Day Camp in Burlington County, Andy Pritikin. Thank you so much, Andy, for joining us this morning. We do appreciate your time. And like we said earlier, camp is always an exciting time for parents and for the kids, but it can also be nerve wracking. So tell us about how they can prepare and help them feel confident going into this experience. Oh, such a great question, Natasha. You know, most of the nervous energy and the anxiety and all that kind of stuff is from the parents. It's not the kids. Kids are resilient. We saw after the pandemic, the elementary school age kids, they bounced right back, like immediately. It's the parents. So parents have to be very cognizant of how they're communicating and what their body language is like and the questions they're asking their kids. And they need to give their kids confidence, right? Their kids are going to figure it out, right? They have to remind their kids this is going to be a special adventure for them to enjoy, right? They're going to meet new friends. They're going to try new things. It's going to be awesome. Yes, yeah, so and try not to, to let your anxiety kind of, you know, permeate their, their yes. world too. So another key to success, obviously, we understand is preparation. So what can parents do before that first day of camp comes around? Just like anything else, practice, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, if, if this is a kid that has never been away from their parents, they need to practice that kind of thing. They need to spend time being alone, being independent, all right, being with other kids without a grown up hovering right over them. That would be wonderful. And then another thing is just getting outside, right? A lot of these camps like mine, we are outdoor camps and kids nowadays are pretty much indoor kids right? They come home, they turn on their TV, they turn on their screens and this and that. There's very few kids that just play outside all the time. And it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of wherewithal to be outside for extended periods of time. Think about when you rent a shore house and you go there and the first day, like at night, you don't want to go to sleep at seven o'clock at night. That's what camp feels like. So getting kids to sleep early, you know, because they're going to have to wake up early to go to camp. That's just as important. It's so true. I mean, I'm, I'm like an old lady now, so I just remember loving being outside. And that was my whole lived experience growing up in Virginia, too. But when kids are at camp, you know, they're surrounded by a ton of other kids and they really have to learn how to how to, you know, thrive in that kind of an environment, too. So how can parents prepare them for that? Well, talking to them about it is the big thing, you know, sort of setting the stage for them. Right. The, one of the big skills that camp teaches is teamwork collaboration, right? Get along with each other. And, and these are life skills, you know, when, when you work with people, okay, grownups, right? People have to be able to play nice in the sandbox. And I say that as a metaphor, but that's real too. So, you know, the kids that come to camp that are used to getting everything that that they want at a moment's notice, they're in for a rude awakening because, you know, at camp, it's a functioning group of kids. You know, if you're from a big family, you're used to it. Okay. But if you're not, and you're used to just getting everything you, you need, that's, that's something that kids are going to need to be aware of. You know, I joke around all the time. I use the metaphor. Your kid is not always going to get the blue ice pop because we give ice pops at our camp and all the kids want the blue ones. And that's like usually the first time that they learn that it's not all perfect, right? So it's the art of compromise. It's the art of disappointment, right? You're prepping your kids emotionally that they're not going to get everything they need when they need it, right? Um, now they're going to get water when they're thirsty. They're going to get food when they're hungry. Okay, things like that. But they're not always going to, you know, it's going to be an annoying person, right? Well, guess what? In life, there's annoying people. Camp is a great environment to kids for kids to learn these skills that are going to help them out in school, in college, in, in careers, and in life, okay, with boyfriends and girlfriends and things like that, too. <laughs> it, it's just such a great environment for them. <laughs> all right, I love that. Thank you so much for all of that great advice, Andy, and wishing you all the best during this summer camp season. You take care. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks for having me on. Thumbs up.